Hello, it's Deb Milligan here from Craft Therapy. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and psychotherapist and part of the Seed Wellness team. And I'm here today to talk to you about ways to help you reduce any anxiety you might be experiencing during this time of lockdown. Although we can't choose to feel anxious or not, we can choose how we take care of our mental health. So just like with our physical health, we do have choices about what we can do mentally to keep mentally and emotionally well and prevent worries and anxiety becoming overwhelming. We all worry, it's a natural part of being human, but if our worries become too much and negative thoughts start to take hold, our anxiety becomes heightened and our overall well-being suffers. So what can we do to help ourselves? The better we understand our anxiety, the better we can deal with it. It's a biological reaction to fear, a basic survival mechanism designed to keep us safe. But when we feel threatened, we tend to adopt certain protective behaviours like avoidance or withdrawal. These might help us feel a bit better immediately, but in the long term, these behaviours increase mental health difficulties as we lose confidence in our own abilities. So the main message I'd like to give you today is make your mental self-care an immediate priority. If you're feeling stressed or experiencing anxiety, ask yourself what you can do today to think and feel better about being in your current situation. Remember, anxiety is a completely normal response. It's just maybe happening at an unhelpfully raised level. So if you have some tools and techniques ready, you can prevent this spiralling out of control to a harmful level and feel better instead. So if you're experiencing anxiety, here are a few tips to quite literally change your mind about feeling anxious and help yourself back into a more comfortable state. So the first thing I'd say is recognise and get to know your anxiety or anxious feelings. Don't fight them. If we acknowledge anxiety, we can reframe how powerful and permanent it is. Recognise it. Name it if it helps. This is just my anxiety. Notice any physical feelings or any specific emotions that might be triggers. It's all helpful for in understanding what affects us. Trying to push uncomfortable feelings away, ignoring difficult emotions will cause more harm in the long run. Don't ignore the signs or pretend it's not real. Far better to accept this is happening, learn to recognise the symptoms and what happens to you mentally and physically, so you can then do something positive to improve how you feel. So the second thing I'd say is start by putting a break on, putting the brakes on as soon as you notice signs or symptoms. And your go-to break to stop your anxiety is calm breathing. The place to start is always the breath because relaxation is the antidote to anxiety. If we're feeling stressed or anxious, deep, slow breathing will help us calm down physically and mentally. You may already know some calm breathing techniques. They're worth learning because they work. Calm breathing sends safe messages through our nervous system, switching off the unsafe signals and reducing anxiety responses. If you haven't learnt any specific techniques for breathing, don't worry, all you really need to do is simply focus your attention on slowly and evenly inhaling and exhaling. This will help slow down your heart rate and recenter your mind. Once you've successfully applied the brake to stop you heading in an unhelpful direction, you're ready to move your thoughts in a better direction, helping you back to a calmer, more comfortable state. So the next step is bring your worries into the moment or right now and add a phrase starting with but to allow the potential for things to change. So instead of I'm finding this really tough, at the moment I'm finding this really tough but I'm going to Skype a friend. My anxiety is making my heart race. At the moment my anxiety is making my heart race but I can go outside and walk around the garden. You'll help the cause of the anxiety to become temporary and able to be changed and turn your focus to what you can do or feel instead. The next thing I'd say is reframe the anxious thought by making another small change. Swap I am for I feel. Simple but really effective. It moves the feeling or the judgment of yourself or your situation from one that feels constant to one that feels temporary. Notice the difference when I am anxious changes to I feel anxious. Because when you use the phrase I am, your statement becomes your reality. It, you embody that thought, you become it. I am really depressed being stuck at home. I'm m missing being separated from friends and family. You become that worry when you repeat things like this frequently. But like I said, feelings come and go. So if you're saying, I feel sick and tired of this lockdown, you let the feelings become temporary. You have the option not to hang on to them, to move past them, rephrase them or let them go. It gives you back control. 
So finally, express your feelings, all feelings, but particularly the difficult ones. Open up, don't close down. If you have someone to talk to, talk. Particularly important as a parent to show your children the importance of talking about feelings. If we don't show them, we'd be open. How can we expect them to be? What messages are we giving them? And if you have nobody at home to talk to, there are still things you can do. Call or text a friend or family member and tell them about how you're feeling and ask them how they're feeling. And even just write your fears down, read them out loud. Putting your worries in writing can help you manage your symptoms and challenge negative self-talk that's often associated with anxiety. Maybe then decide if there are some you now want to tear up or shred as you start to feel differently about them. You might even decide it would be beneficial to talk things through with a professional therapist who specialises in anxiety. So remember, feelings of anxiety are normal, but there are many things you can do to feel much better. And these are just a few. Thank you for listening.